Okay, first off, before I start this video, I have to show you guys my view. This is my current view. Yep, those are sheep and goats right outside my trailer. We're staying at a farm right now, and it's super awesome. There's even an adorable pig that I wanted to pet so badly, but didn't because I didn't know if I should, and it's not my animal, and I have... I make animals anxious for some reason. I swear to God. Um, so I didn't. But I thought that was really cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. And also ignore my wet hair. I'm currently trying. Um, uh, apparently you can use chamomile tea to turn your hair blonde, so to say. Um, lighten it. So I'm trying that out. It's a little wet. But today I wanted to talk more about manifestation because I had a big thing happen. So I want to share what that is. This ties into money. And on the way, as I'm manifesting as I manifested this, I realized some really big lessons and reminders that of things that were holding back my manifestations. And they were kind of shocking, kind of surprising, didn't expect them. So I want to share them with you. So if you've been struggling with a manifestation, if you have been struggling with getting something to manifest, to come into your reality for a long time, or if you will get something in your grasp and it slips away, this could be why. And I will say, I'm sorry, my camera is also crooked, but this is the best it's going to get. First, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Isabel, your spiritual rebel friend, and I talk about all things astrology, personality, psychology, manifestation, and more. All the things that have helped me with my self-growth and life and helped me live an enjoyable life, and I'm here to share them with you. And if you want to learn more about all of what that means, check out my astrology course in the link in the description below or my readings where we can dive deep in one hour into your unique personality type combination, not just astrology, but Enneagram, Myers-Briggs, and more. So today I want to share a massive win that has come in. Hopefully you guys have watched my video about manifesting 10K. I wanted to get 10K into savings, save up for a forerunner, and I have not continued the series. I'm sorry, but... I suck at vlogging. Vlogging is not my strong suit and to capture everything I do and speak everything I think, even though I'm a chatty Cathy, is hard. So unfortunately, I will probably not be doing that series as much as I initially hoped, but I will be trying to share as much insight or um, behind the scenes, I guess, views into my life and how that manifestation journey is going, including today. So as you probably know, I've been trying to manifest more money and I had a huge breakthrough last month, which was I finally made 2K uh, for the month. 1K off of my own business. I do social media marketing as well and management for people. And so usually that ends up being my main source of income. But last month was the first month in a long, long time. I think since I was 17 to make a thousand off of my business. And that was a huge deal. So really quick, I want to off of that say thank you to all the people who book readings, to those who buy the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle, who check buy the astrology bundle, who buy my astrology course, who buy the reading recordings, know that you're supporting a real person. You guys paid for my gas to travel around, you paid for my groceries, you paid for my car bills, Thank you so much. You guys are greatly appreciated. Let yourselves be known in the comments below. Have you done a reading with me in the last month? Thank you if you're that person. So that was a huge breakthrough. And then this month I was like, okay, cool. Now let's level up. I've made 2000. Now can we get it up to even simply 2200? Because 2200 has been a number that I've had in my mind for a long time of things that I could do with that much every month, the ease it would bring. And then I recently got a deal through social media management for, uh, to get make an extra $800 a month, bringing my income up to $2,800. Um, yeah, about 20, 25 to 2800 depending on how this business goes um, with all the astrology stuff and all that. But huge deal to have another $800,000 or 800,000, 800 to a thousand dollars in my bank account every month. That was a huge deal for me, which maybe it's not for you. I kind of think it would be for most people, but I'm pretty isolated from the world. And I was shocked to hear with my past relationship, how much money he made and how much of it though he really got to use. 
so to say, with all the bills most people have. But point is, I manifested a huge amount of money. That was loud. And I was super stoked on it. I was super excited. And even though it seemed like everything would be working out allegedly in my favor with that, there were some surprising limitations that or initial thoughts that were triggered that could have definitely limited that manifestation and reflections I realized um by reflecting on it things I realized uh looking back at it that were keeping me from manifesting that so I wanted to talk about a few of what those were so first and foremost I was shocked at where this money came from I finished last month of July and I was really adamant about, okay, let's push this container. I made more through my business. That feels so good. Now let me think about the next money uh, container. Would I, oh, I've been thinking about buying a new car. It would be nice to go rent Airbnbs. It would be nice to maybe have my own trailer that I live in through the fall. So I was thinking about all those things and really feeling good about money. But I was shocked that this money deal came in through not the stream that I expected, which is one I talk about often. The way in which our desires manifest continues to floor me. It's the same as the shoes I bought. Uh, I think I've, I've done a post on my community recently about the shoes I manifested, which is a much smaller thing, but I was shocked at how those came in. It was through a giveaway, not through making money. We Detaching from the how is the first point that I wanna make here because it really is so vital. Now, granted, if you are wanting to make more money through a certain business, um, for a sense of purpose, it's really get important to get clear, I feel like, on why you want it to come a certain way. So for example, for me, while I want to manifest more money, I also want to, in a way, separately, but I was connecting the desire to have more success in my career. I really want to get a million subscribers eventually on this YouTube channel. So if you can help with that, that's great. But I would assume that the more success I would get on here would mean the more money in my bank account. And while that does go often hand in hand, the money desire and the success desire are two separate things. And by creating a separation, it has helped me manifest more money. I love the work I do as a social media manager and I'm super excited to help out this small business. They do amazing work, super passionate about it. They feel like family, it's really great. And so having those separated really did help in having the detachment with how the money came. I just focused on how I wanted to use the money rather than where I wanted to get the money. I think my phone might be getting hot. Mm, no, just because it did the, it, my screen darkens when my battery is um, getting tampered with. So I had to double check that. So that's the first point I wanted to make. The second point I wanted to make is one I think is very common for a lot of people. It's like, um, I think the phrase is um, squeezing a puppy. I think that's a, a phrase. I, I know that I, as a young child, um, I had a, I have a little sister and when she was a baby, I just loved her so much that my mom was worried I was going to squeeze her head off because I was just so excited. I was like, Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what I said at the time, but it would just be like so much excitement and like uh, doting that she was worried I was going to like hurt her, which is understandable. So it's like the phrase of squeezing, squeezing a puppy too hard where when we, I think get money. And for me, when I got this money right now, into my account i was uh, super excited at first oh my god i'm so excited to use this money i could get my car this is my forerunner payment this is my bronco payment wait what do i want and slowly as i had the money and i was thinking about how to spend it the excitement turned into worry or nervousness or negative energy of how do i actually want to spend this and what if the money goes away i think that's one that a lot of us get this feeling of well what if it's gonna go away now i need to figure out how to spend it fast or i need to not spend it do i want to save it we overthink it and it pressures it squeezes the puppy that is our manifestation <laughs> and i'm not gonna say the money's still in my account um so that but i caught it before it happened because i've done this so often i'm pretty sure i've done this frankly in relationships where the perfect at the time perfect partner for me comes in and then i squeeze the puppy too hard i fill the desire the energy with worry anxiety fear of them leaving fear of them not being committed and i ruin it i think that's honestly been kind of a theme for the last two relationships i've been in um i'm frankly that's probably the only in a way reason why it ended was the negative vibration but past is the past don't regret any of my decisions point is though with the money for me Make it, I had to catch the fact that I was worrying now about the money and I have to keep it truly just a positive vibration. 
so I just kind of repressed all the thoughts for the rest of the evening, especially because I was tired. I knew I was thinking bad and instead changed it to thinking this morning, okay, let me just think about all the possibilities I can do with this money because that feels good. Let me just put in good feeling thoughts about this manifestation. So those are really the two primary points I wanted to make about the realizations I had with this. One was never expecting, um, always, it's always going to be different. Your manifestations are not going to show up how you think they are. Two um, is making sure you're, we're not pressuring our manifestations on top of it because it really we want we end up bringing it to us when we are a good vibration and whatever we believe is what we'll get so if you believe the money will leave you it will and with that the last thing I wanted to talk about with the, on the note of basically thinking about only having positive feeling thoughts around money knowing honestly my astrology all the time comes into my head when I think about how I want to spend the money because my brain automatically goes I have more money what do I want well I know that I have a North Node in Taurus, which is about having more comfort and indulgence. And that is something I feel like I'm lacking right now a little bit or want more of. So what would feel like the most comfort and indulgence to me? I also know my Venus is in Taurus, same thing. So I need more indulgence in my life. How could I spend on that? Do I want to put more effort maybe towards fulfilling my desire of my moon in Cancer? I basically can look at my chart and go, how does money help me fulfill my different needs based off my chart? What does my moon sign need? What does my second house mean? What does my, um, what does my Venus mean? And also what do I, what makes me feel abundant with money? I know also because I have Venus and Taurus, spending money on indulgence will make me feel the most abundant. So if I just think about spending my money on indulgence, going to coffee shops more, getting to wear nice clothes, spending a night in maybe, going to a nice restaurant, all these thoughts make me feel abundant. So I think looking at your Venus, your second house and your North node can really help when deciding what makes me feel good when I think about money. And a little bit with your second house, you want to keep in mind or just think about with your chart, where is going to tell you your bad beliefs about money? Because oftentimes my south node will step in and be like, oh, well, I don't need more money. I should push that away. I don't, I, why, why did I even manifest money in the first place? That often comes into my head and maybe that's something you feel too, maybe not. But I know for me with having my, I can blame it on my south node, so to say, it, to identify those thought patterns of, I don't need money to live a good life. I just need to change my mentality and have depth of experience and I need to keep it separate. Last thought I want to make, number three, is I think so often how for a long time I felt like money would change my life. And recently I've realized how, you know, life is going to be pretty much the same even if I get more money. I'm going to go through the same thought patterns which are going to cause the same problems for me. The difference is whether I'll be crying in a old Subaru or in a brand new Bronco. That's it. Um, but and that can it can bring joy. It totally money brings joy. Do not get that wrong. Money does bring joy. But I realized that the desire for money came way easier when I stopped thinking it was going to be the end all be all solution to my life. Money won't solve my relationship problems, unfortunately, even though I wish it could. If I could just uh, buy a relationship, that'd be great. <laughs> um, just kidding. Kind of not. Just kidding, though. No, that's bad to say. <laughs> um, but it's not going to solve my relationship problems. It's not going to solve my family problems. It's not going to solve my discomfort problems all the time. But money is good. And the more I could step into that, which I've really only stepped into in the last month and or two, cause the money to come in instantly. So I invite you to think about how you could um, put less pressure on money and try to take matters in your own hands and make your life good without the money being a factor, which I know is hard. Uh, sometimes our lives suck, but the more we can do that, the less pressure we put on manifestations and the more it's just positive feeling, thought and desire, not need, the easier it comes in. And this has given me a lot of insights into what I need to do as far as relationships, because as much as I don't need a relationship, I would like one, but I do have a very persistent belief that there's no one out there for me. No one's going to fit my needs. No one's going to like me. Um, and it's all going to just be full of negativity and hate. And 
I have to catch that and instead change it to how can I only make positive feeling thoughts about this? And again, my Venus helps me with that. Maybe that's just personally me because my North Node and Venus are in the same sign. Maybe if you're a girl that resonates for you to really connect with your Venus as far as manifesting love and wealth, maybe if you're a guy that helps you too, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Are you struggling with a manifestation? Are you trying really hard? Do you feel like you're doing everything right? Do you feel like there must be something off but you can't figure out what? If you need help with that, comment below or book a reading. I would love to hear your thoughts on all of this. Let me know if this video gave you insight into what may be blocking your manifestations. Did this help? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you want to hear a video about next. I'm trying to incorporate again more Enneagram content into my astrology dominated feed right now so let me know what you want to hear in the comments below and let me know if you like hearing my personal thoughts like this what's going on in my personal life because i will make more of an effort to share more what's going on in my life if that's the case be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down astrology enneagram myers-briggs manifestation and more once again my name is isabel and from my heart to yours namaste